Hi fellow reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquarium. Today's video is going to be about the EcoSmart Live, uh, the actual uh, programming or shall we say how it actually works, the menus, the drop down menus of how to actually uh, what's available to set up the Radeon lights. I'm going to do this and I'm not going to do a schedule yet because the tank I'm having an issue with the uh, nitrates due to the fact that the nitrogen exchange hasn't occurred yet. So what happens is that the tank, although technically is cycled, I'm not able to put some of the frags that I'm going to transfer from my uh, nano cube into here, where then I would actually create a scheduling on the Radeon and a scheduling on the MP10. So today's video, uh, I just wanted to throw out this uh, short video on what it actually looks like, the EcoSmart Live, the, the actual uh, software, the program. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show uh, all of you out there uh, what the menus are, what they stand for, and how you would go about to actually schedule uh, the lighting period and the different uh, types of preset uh, lighting schedules that you uh, actually have and combinations of, uh, of setting up the uh, different types of, uh, of lights uh, per color individually. So all I'm going to do uh, strictly today is just the section on the Radeon. Later on in the near future then I'm going to do the same thing for, for the MP10. I'm going to show you guys what's available on Echo Smart Live, how you can go ahead and do the different types of programming. But again, as I mentioned uh, briefly and um, previously, I'm not going to go ahead and show you my schedule yet because I really don't have one yet. Because as you notice, there's no call yet because of the issue with, uh, with the nitrogen exchange hasn't occurred yet. So let's go ahead, let's uh, dive into it and I'll show you uh, what it looks like. Uh, what the different drop down windows are, what the menus are, what they stand for, and how you would go about doing an actual uh, scheduling. So here we go. Okay, and here we are. I have it set up on, on Google as a shortcut. So I can go in automatically. Here it is. Click on it. There's my password. Go into it. Okay, and here we have the first screen that we're actually going to get when you go into it. Okay. Now, if you notice, uh, here, what you have is the main screen on the top. Of course, I named it uh, I am for Innovative Marine Fusion 40. That's the title. That's what, the, you know, the program, the aquarium here on the side you have all these menus you have an override timer uh, uh acclimate timer this actually how this works is that uh I, I believe the maximum allowable time is like uh for 30 days but you can program it in increments of per hour or whatever the intensity that you want to set it up then you have the lunar phases and then on the bottom here you have the traveling sunrise and sunset but i believe that to do this you actually need more than one radion so then you know it would go like sunrise and then sunset okay then up here you have the layout this is uh simply the layout of the aquarium uh what was the layout well you have um, a radion xr15 Pro Generation 4, and you have an MP10. Moving along, then you have the Reef Link. The Reef Link, this is just actually to either refresh it, like if you want to reboot it, or if you want to refresh the devices, you know, if it didn't find them, so forth. Then today, this is what we're going to simply do the demonstration on, on the actual uh, Radeon. Now here, when you notice down here, this bar that moves uh, back and forth. This is your actually, uh, this is how you time it. It's on uh, increments of uh, 12 hours, actually 24. But you can go ahead, you set it up. Here, you can uh, set it at this time, like the start date, on and on, as you see here. 
the start night. Uh, it's said here where it starts at 9 a.m. and it ends at 7 p.m. So this is where it would start. And as you see there, it's, it's giving you intensity zero. Then this, this actually means how it ramps up. You know, it ramps up, then you got like 6%. Then I only have the lights at 10%. But I'll be bringing them up to about like 50%. I, I don't want to go 100% because I really, uh, you know, these lights are excellent and they're very powerful. So I want to start with 50% and start with that and see what happens. If not, then I'll ramp it up. Then here, as you see, the day goes on and on. Then it starts to ramp down. So here you have like 530 and then it starts to ramp down. Then you have 630 and it's at 6%. 7 o'clock p.m. 1% and then that's it that's the end of it now here uh, schedule op uh, options you have different uh, formats you have uh, the templates import schedule export on and on as you see I'm going to go ahead and, and use this now here you have six selections high growth coral lab radion color tra traditional on and on as you see here okay but I'm gonna pick the Coral Lab. Coral Lab has been known to be tested and is one of the ones that a lot of people are using out there. Then you have the sub templates here. Now here you have three to select from. From the research that I've been doing this is the the best one that I see a lot of people are using the SPS AB plus. Then you have this one and then you have the LPS and soft calls. So you would click on this. Now here, you would set the start time. You can do it here, nine o'clock, 10, whichever time you wanna set it up to start. You can do it now or just, you know, like if you wanna test it and then done. Okay, then the same thing holds true for the end time. Same thing, you wanna end it at six, seven, on and on. And then of course the acclimator, acclimate timer. If you wanna set it up, you can set it up here and the lunar phase and once you you hit set um you're all you're ready to go uh here uh before i finish the video i thought i'd show you this this is uh how it says it's self-explanatory what intensity would you like um during the day well this is 100 percent. that's too much so like i said before i'm going to set it up at 50 so I would do it right here. I would set it up at 50%. Uh, this, this means when it's ramped up completely during the day, it would go no higher than 50%. So uh, that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. A little brief summary of what all these menus, uh, what they actually mean, uh, how they work. Oh, and, and be, before... Uh, I, I thought I'd show you it's got the feed mode where you would uh, set that up also. Let's check it out. Let's see what it do actually does. Oh, well, uh, I don't have it set up because uh, I don't have no equipment to actually uh, set it up at the present time. If I did have the Vortec, I'm pretty sure that I could uh, default it to a uh, feed mode where it would go down. Um, now the vortex as you notice i have it on constant speed but that uh, i'll explain um on another video what all these curtail and all that for now i just wanted to draw your attention to the radion and how it actually what these menus are all about so i do want to thank you for watching this video i hope you found it interesting and if you did hit the thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my whoops go ahead and subscribe to my channel and right next to it there's a little bell you can hit that that's the notification bell and every time i shoot a video you'll be the first one uh, to be notified that i uh, uploaded a video which i'm doing it weekly and like i say at the end of all of my videos happy reefing thank you very much bye bye